Good afternoon, everybody. It's David Schlotthauer here with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Thursday, September the 11th, 2025. In this tropical weather update, we are monitoring the main development region out there in the deep tropical Atlantic for the potential for tropical development over the next 7 to 10 days. Could we see our next tropical storm or hurricane in the next 10 to 15 days? In today's video, we'll be breaking down all those details. However, though, if you haven't been here before and you do find these tropical weather outlook and discussions very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification icon to get daily tropical weather updates, including live stream tropical live weather coverage on the channel. Hit that like button and share this video with their family and friends on social media. So now taking a look at the deep tropical Atlantic here for Thursday afternoon on the 11th of September 2025 and we can see that the background state of the atmosphere across the deep tropical Atlantic remains quite hostile and unfavorable, all thanks to a lot of deep layer vertical wind shear that is moving across the deep tropical Atlantic in spite of the fact that we have a weak tropical wave over here just to the east of the leeward islands and then we also have another tropical wave that is going to be coming off of africa by tomorrow that could also have a chance of tropical development but once again due to the background state being quite unfavorable there is going to be a lot of hurdles that that tropical wave is going to have to face before it could actually get established enough to develop into another tropical depression or storm. Now, when we take a look here at the very latest deep layer vertical wind shear analysis from the University of Wisconsin, clearly showing that the background state here is very hostile. Lots of yellows, lots of red here over the deep tropical Atlantic, over the subtropical region, highlighting that vertical wind shear is at unfavorable levels of about 25 to 40 knots, meaning that the background environment is not supporting any tropical development all thanks to a lot of dry air, a lot of stability, and a lot of vertical wind shear at this given time. There's also some vertical wind shear increasing over the Caribbean. And in case if you were wondering about that tropical wave that is located to the east of the Lesser Antilles near Trinidad and Tobago, it is pretty well stretched and there is not much of a reflection on the 850 millibar vorticity analysis right now. So the chances of this developing into anything sinister looks extremely low, less than 1% at this time, as this generally drifts off towards the west at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now with that all in mind, let's take a look now at our latest global deterministic models, including our latest AI model of the Euro because there is a lot of confusion, a lot of rumors floating around out there on social media that this is going to become our next big tropical storm or our next hurricane, if not even a major hurricane, which I am not falling for because of how hostile the background environment actually is going to continue to be over the next 7 to 10 days with a lot of vertical wind shear, lots of dry air, and a lot of stability problems. So in my own opinion, this is the most trusted weather source you are actually going to find here on any YouTube weather channel out there on social media. So with that being said, let's get dived into the latest European model here at our 850 millibar cyclonic relative vorticity. And you can see our tropical wave is really barricaded within the West African monsoon trough. Over the next 60 hours, that tropical wave does come off of Africa and is not very defined by any chance at all over the course of the next five days. This would be for early to the middle of next week of September the 15th through the 17th with a rather broad, weak tropical wave that is located over here over the main development region. A little bit of a reflection there, but nothing too significant about that. And then another wave coming off of Africa that some of the models are already picking up on to. Now going over the next seven days here, by the end of next week, so for Thursday morning, September the 18th, 2025, there is a bit of a stronger signal on the Euro today that a tropical depression would likely form here in about seven days, but also a lot further north than what previous models showed. In fact, some of the models or most of the model guidance shows this, that this is going to be an out to sea storm for the time being until we get more information once the wave actually develops and how far west it actually consolidates. So there's going to be a lot of back and forth either this going pretty far to the north or this going much further west and clipping the leeward islands in about 7 to 10 days. 
All right. But we got to understand that, yes, there is a signal for tropical development, but it, it, but people are taking this over the top. Like, literally, it's not going to become a hurricane. Let's not go that far and say, oh, it's going to become a hurricane. Some of the members are showing that. All right. Y you got to be careful. We really do. With a hostile environment, things are just not going to get explosively active as what people are thinking. I know yesterday I said in my video that things are going to get hyperactive, but things have changed since then. So looking at the next 10 days here on the European model for the 21st of September, here is that tropical wave that just kind of disintegrates, doesn't do much. So that's what some of the models are beginning to trend towards in today's update with another tropical wave coming off of Africa that might do something a little bit more productive. But also, that's 10 days out, and you know what that means. A lot of uncertainty that far out in time, as we can clearly see from the euro, going back and forth with that tropical wave. It actually is in the same spot over the last several model runs, so we'll see if the euro is actually on to something for once. Now, looking at the European AI model, this is what is known as the Artificial Intelligence Forecasting System, and this has done quite the job so far this hurricane season. And it shows that the system is going to poof out, all right, just like our others. Over the next 10 days, it moves off of Africa, and then it's over here, over the northeastern portion there of the Leeward Islands by Sunday, the 21st of September. And rarely do I go very far out in time, but you can see that really just falls apart by the time we go into the latter part of September, indicating to us that still there are struggles out there in the Atlantic for any significant tropical development. And if this does actually continue, we'll probably end out um, the tropical weather series here on my YouTube channel by October 1st, meaning that my last tropical video here on the channel would probably be on the 30th of September if this actually continues to be the case going forward where we don't have a whole lot of tropical activity to monitor. Now, looking at the GFS model here, the global forecasting system, again, something very similar. It takes a while for that wave to develop, but then it does try to get its act together and then it kind of poofs out. But the GFS model has been the biggest outlier to date. Very uncertain. It doesn't know how to predict any tropical system this year. It's been back and forth, which, by the way, um, while we're talking about this system uh, briefly here, that's the, the first tropical wave, then another one behind that. Whatever goes on in the Gulf and the Northwestern Caribbean right now, do not fall for it. All right. There are a couple of YouTube channels out there saying that. Um, there is new guidance suggesting that there will be a tropical storm or a hurricane developing in the Gulf or the Northwestern Caribbean. For one thing, the GFS model it has a serious, significant convective bias attached to it, meaning that any little vorticity out over here in the Central America, Jire or whatever coming off of Venezuela, the GFS is going to go crazy with it, and it's going to try to develop it into something very significant in the Gulf. And we have had already people posting everything on social media about this, that, oh, there's going to be a big hurricane coming to Texas or Louisiana in about two or so weeks. Please don't fall for that because that is straight up hype, fear mongering, and absolutely uncalled for madness when it comes to social media. Do not fall for this. Um... One last thing here, okay? This is not going to happen, all right? I repeat, do not fall for the hype, gripe, and fear-mongering out there on social media, all right? The GFS does this all the time. It, it, this is the time of the year where it's going to go a little hey wonky on any fake development out there, what we call fantasy land, um, artificial tropical development on the GFS model that doesn't um, come true until other models actually show it. Now, looking at the deep layer vertical wind shear over the next couple of weeks here, for one thing, the European model shows a lot of vertical wind shear, and that's pretty much what we're seeing on the University of Wisconsin on its shear analysis, indicating that vertical wind shear is on the order of 40 to 50 knots, so pretty hostile out there right now in the deep tropical Atlantic, and that's going to continue over the next five to six days. You can see clearly there is a lot of vertical wind shear that this system is going to be dealing with on the order of about 30 to 40 knots. That is why I am not too enthused about the tropical wave coming off of Africa. While some models like the GFS are going a little bit Willy Wonka on it, or a little crazy, 
I just don't think it's going to really pan out with what the GFS is showing, and that's because of the vertical wind shear, as we can see here on the Euro, on the order of, again, about 30 to 40 knots, which is very, very hostile and unfavorable uh, for any development. And as we go beyond that time frame, the vertical wind shear is still going to be quite strong out there across much of the main development region of the Atlantic, including for portions of the Caribbean over the next 360 hours, all the way out to perhaps the end of September. On top of that, there is a lot of dry, stable Saharan air that is in place across much of the deep tropical Atlantic, including for the Caribbean, and even for portions of the United States, and of course, way up here in the subtropical region. This is not what you want to see if you're looking for a very busy hurricane season that we're supposed to be seeing right now because it is literally the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season as of yesterday. Today's the 11th, 9-11, we're a day past that, but still we are at the height of hurricane season and right now it does, does not look like things are really going to pick up. In my personal opinion, over the next seven days here, on the European model, look at all of this dry air. Okay, very lopsided system, vertical wind shear hitting the system from the southwest. The background state really not cooperating with a lot of dry air down here in the subtropical region of the Atlantic. And going forward, still too much dry, stable Saharan air coming off of Africa for this time of the year, which is very ironic, very rare and epic to actually see. Such a peak of the Atlantic hurricane season is not even mattering very much this season. All thanks to too much dry Saharan air on top of vertical wind shear and just an overall too stable atmosphere in the background. Now, with that being said, here are my honest, truthful opinions on this tropical wave that is coming off of Africa. While the National Hurricane Center does highlight a 30% chance that this tropical wave will develop into potentially a tropical depression or storm over the next 7 to 10 days, in my honest opinion, because of all of the vertical wind shear that we're seeing, lots of dry air out there, I'm giving this a 10% chance of tropical development over the next 7 days until we start seeing more aggressive signals in the background state for tropical development. So right now, this has a very, 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 very low chance of any tropical development. And not only that, if this does develop, it's going to go out to sea most likely or get very close to the Leeward Islands. But that is extremely far out in time to even think about. So right now, there is very, very little chance and of impacts on this tropical wave anytime soon. Now, when taking a look here at the very latest 12Z ensemble models from the artificial intelligence, from the global forecasting system, from the European ensemble and others, you can clearly see there is a strong signal here for tropical development, but we have to use this with great caution especially from what we had with 91L that we all thought that all of the ensembles, all of the deterministic models show that, oh, this is actually going to develop into something sinister. Just kidding. The AI models saw it going down first and all of the other models latched onto it and look what we had. Nothing out of 91L despite it being a 90% chance of tropical development. My concern with this tropical wave right now coming off of Africa is it looks all good and healthy and all of these ensemble models and some de all, most of the deterministic models show that, wow, this is actually going to survive and we're going to get development. But what it doesn't see is how much dry, stable air there is out there. And I'm still thinking that this is going to do another poof, another, uh, what would you call it, another surprise in a good sense of things where there's a threatening message here on our ensembles and then poof, 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 goodbye. 92L, which would be the ne next designation if this actually does get designated another invest, would be 92L. And... Right now, there is a low to medium signal on this, on the GEFS ensemble being the most bullish here, which we have to use this with great caution, but it does show this going out to sea relatively quickly. And so, therefore, again, a very minute signal here on the GFS. 
Now, let's ignore with what's going on across Northwestern Caribbean and the Gulf. The GEFS Ensemble is starting to go a little crazy with tropical development with that Central American gyre. I am still not listening to that because it's an outlier because all of our other ensemble models over the next 10 days are not showing development. You can clearly see here from the Euro, from the artificial intelligence models, that there's nothing out there brewing in the Gulf or the Northwestern Caribbean. So do not fall for the GEFS Ensemble and its deterministic operational model, which it is an outlier. It is very convectively biasly driven, and it's going to spin up any little vorticity off the Central American gyre off of Venezuela, if that makes sense. So now looking at the uh, Google AI DeepMind models, this is pretty aggressive from the Google DeepMind, but just like our others, you watch. This could go poof all of a sudden, and we will start seeing downtrends uh, with our signal here with this tropical wave. We may or may not, but I am using this with a lot of caution that just because I see a strong signal here, I am going to wait for at least another week or so until this really gets far enough away from Africa, until we actually start seeing a little bit of congealants a little bit of consolidation, and then once that actually occurs and it, de it develops a lot of deep convection, then we can say that, oh, this go around the ensemble models and the deterministic models were actually right this whole time because they didn't do so well on 91L, if that makes perfect sense. So looking at our other Google DeepMind AI model, most of the members here show only a tropical depression over the next 10 days. So there is a relatively weak amplitude here with that tropical wave as it moves off of Africa. But some of these do bring it a little closer to the Leeward Islands in about 10 days. But for right now, because of what we dealt with with 91L, there's a 10% chance that this actually does anything meaningful right now until we get more concrete data. So now let's take a look here at our European AI artificial intelligence ensemble mean at our velocity potential anomaly here on a Hav molar diagram. I showed this in yesterday's video. Right now we are in a very unfavorable environment. One of the most unfavorable conditions that you could ever see for the peak of hurricane season with a lot of vertical wind shear, greater than 30 to 40 knots, very dry, deep layer moisture uh, that is in place with relative humidities, less than 40% overall in the deep tropical Atlantic, and very stable uh, out there. So I'm not concerned about any tropical development now through at least the 14th or the 15th of September. But beyond that, there is still a window of opportunity, a relatively small window, by the way, only going from about the 17th of September through at least the 21st of September when we get the best favorable conditions for development. And then look at all this orange once again. This is more hostile background environment that is going to probably end up developing. So whether or not can we get anything in this favorable window for tropical development is to be announced. And if we don't see anything during this period, um, the chances are very low for any additional tropical development beyond this. But anyways, if you haven't been here before and you did find today's tropical weather outlook and discussion very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification icon to get daily tropical weather updates, including live streaming coverage on the tropics, including a landfalling hurricane or tropical storm. Please hit that like button and also please leave a comment in the section below this video. As always, have a great rest of your guys' Thursday here on the 11th of September 2025. I will have another tropical weather outlook and discussion tomorrow.